Uh, Adrian, I guess just to start off, uh, how was it to be able to beat your former team here tonight? Well, it was nice. It was a great occasion of something that we were all excited about. Um, I mentioned to a few of the guys maybe leaving them out tonight and concentrating on Saturday. Not one of them wanted to not play, as you can imagine. Um, so it's been a good night. Obviously, we, we hope that Ray's not too bad uh, with his ankle, but the biggest thing is that we've come through and pretty much unscathed, I think. And the confidence of, of winning a game against the Premier League team is, is always nice. Hey, it's no indication of what's to come because I know what pre-season's like. They'll be training really, really hard. And um, sometimes the games, players feel a bit leggy because of the amount of work they've been done. So um, they'll be better for the 90 minutes because I think it's only their second game they've had. And uh, I'm no doubt that come uh, kick-off time, they'll be, they'll be in the right shape. Did your heart jump through your throat when uh, Ray went down? Yeah, a little bit because obviously when he when he you know does the old substitution thing and before he's hit the ground really you know it's pretty bad but he doesn't feel as though it's as bad. We'll, we'll have a better idea in the morning when he's slept on it and we'll see where we are. Anything? Yes. You seem really happy today, Adrian. Congratulations. Thank you. May I say? This time it was penalty. Yeah, this time it was penalty, yeah. Um, so No, we, we, we're pleased. We're pleased with the game. Obviously, it's, it was a big day for me because everybody knows what this football club means to me. Yeah, you know, it, it changed my life having a football club and it's something that I'm, I'm really, really proud of the group of players I played with and the fact that the team I played for was probably one of the most successful we've ever had. So it means so much to me to... to Welcome Everton to the stadium. And what what are your thoughts on that second team you just put? I on thought the they were really half? good. You know, they put a lot of effort, a lot of energy. You know, the players, that, all of them, come on and and did a really good shift. I was pleased for Abu to get a goal, and obviously I was I was really pleased with some of the younger ones. Thought Naby did well as well. It's so some good stuff. Three years ago, you played an Ashton Villa club, and it seemed like they were a step or two. You were a step or two behind them. Tonight, you beat an Everton squad that you seem like a step or two ahead. Do you feel the talent gap between MLS and the EPL has closed a little bit? Well, I, I, I think the MLS is getting better. I don't know if it's getting smaller because I, I look at the amounts of money and the quality of player now in the Premier League. And as much as tonight's been enjoyable and a big win for us, that group, when it comes round to opening day of the season, will be a lot, lot different than they are tonight. So, you know, I, I'm pleased for our lot, pleased for the supporters. Great turnout again. and um, But I'm sure that by the time... Opening day comes around. Who have they got? Arsenal? No. Houston. Houston. No, who have they got? Oh, Everton. I think they've got Villa. Maybe Villa. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be ready for that anyway. Was that your new right back in the second yes. half? Yeah. Oh, how happy were you to get him on and get him acclimated a little bit? Well, he was, he was moaning in the, in the dressing room that, about how long it takes to get your visa and then it come through two minutes later. So, you know, so we're pleased to get him on the field because he's been here a couple of weeks now. He's been training really hard. And he just, you know, they get a bit frustrated. But it was nice to get him on the field. You saw some of his quality, really good pass through the ball, got in the final third for me, Abu's goal. So there was a lot of pleasing stuff. In the end, what do you want your players to get out, uh, get gained from an experience like this? Well, I think the most important thing is for some of our younger guys that they've played against Premier League players and they know what, what the level is. I think the first thing that jumped out at them was the, the physicality. You look at the size of, you know, their centre-backs and that, Calvert-Lewin, etc. and then Yuri Mina comes on. You know, there's some big guys in that Premier League now. I know a friendly game is really hard to analyse when you have two lineups and in, in, in the, yeah. the two different halves, but I've, what are your views on the game? I think uh, Minnesota was better in both halves. Um, I, th I thought we've created quite a lot of chances this evening, if you, look, if you go back, you know. So it, it's, it's been a really good evening for us. And as I say, I was really pleased with some of the younger guys because they get a bit frustrated not being with the first team and not being in the first team squad. This was a great opportunity for them tonight, and, and a few of them did really well. So, Adrian, um, what are your thoughts on Everton today? I mean, they seem kind of... I think, I think it's always difficult to judge uh, teams when they come to you in pre-season when you're in the middle of your season. Obviously, our lads are in really good shape now, but trust me, come opening day, Everton will be a lot different than they were today. You know, the most important thing for them in pre-season is to get everybody fit and healthy for the opening day of the season. I'm sure that Frank would have liked to have won the game, but at the end of the day, he knows that the most important thing is the opening day of the season. 
Uh, you mentioned uh, Ray's health, obviously. And, uh, what's the status of uh, Will Trapp right now? And his, uh, his well, Will got an MRI, and we think he'll be three to five weeks, maybe. Oh. Yeah. So it's you know it's not great news, but hey, it is what it is. Occupational hazard, I'm afraid. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cal, obviously a good tune-up game, and obviously really good to be 4-0 against uh, Everton like that. What were your thoughts uh, on the game? Yeah, I felt like you know we just wanted to make sure we came in with the right attitude, and I think right from the first group, the first half, you know, we really set the tone and tried to impose our game on them as well. Um, you know, we knew they were top top opponent, and you know some big name players over there, but we wanted to make sure that our identity still showed as well. How consistent did you think the team was? I mean, from start to finish, just I mean, obviously between kind of one team the first half, yep. second team on the second half. Yeah, I think as a second group, you know, we just wanted to make sure that the level was, didn't drop and come and give our own energy and show our own flair um, throughout the half. And I think we did a great job to pick up right off where the first team left. So what are your thoughts, or maybe am I, I'm wrong, the feeling about playing against a Premier League team in your debut? You know, it's an awesome experience. You know, these are these are guys that play on the biggest stage every single weekend. So it's a great, great opportunity to test ourselves against some of the top players. And you know, I think I think we showed that you know we're capable to perform. Granted, they're in preseason and a lot of other factors, but it felt amazing to be out there and competing with them. And what are your thoughts about 4-0 against Everton? I mean, it's it's a huge result. Yeah, hundred percent. I think it gives us confidence moving forward, but. You know, it's a friendly. They're, they're in their first couple of weeks of preseason just tuning up. So, um, you know, you can't look too much into the result. But overall, we're going to take this energy and keep it moving into Houston on the weekend. Sure. All right. Sweet. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks.